Well, we're back with this game, World 2-1. Let's go. Some uh, Donkey Kong Country Thress music. I, you know, I like Donkey Kong Country 3. It's not a bad game. It's not a great game, like compared to DK1 or DK2. But it's not a bad game. It's just feels so not a Donkey Kong game. Like, I think is the best way to describe it. Like, it just doesn't, it doesn't have the same feel as a normal, okay, I'm, is down or up the secret? Well, obviously I can get back up. Frick. On the feather. Um, but yeah, it's like one and two felt really much like Donkey Kong Country games. Three, on the other hand, was so, so different. It just, I don't know. It's just not a Donkey Kong game. Not in my opinion, anyway. It's just, just not, not quite. Not quite right. I don't know how many other people will like agree to that. Because it's, I mean, it's a fun game. It still has like, I mean, it has some comparatively creative bosses compared to the like first games. Which, the first ones are kind of just like, jump on the giant beaver. Jump on the giant bird. Ooh, those, those guys you can jump on. Also, there's a ceiling. But yeah, it's like, for the most part, <laughs> all the bosses were very, very samey. Um, I think the oil drum was the only one that was like really different, but at the same time, like at least in one. Cause that one was very much like, oh, just kill all the enemies. In two, it was very heavy on throw things at the boss. What, the first bird, it was eggs. Um, and then the sword, it was cannonballs and then what was it what was the next boss I mean you had the bee the bee was a little different because the bee was I mean you're still like throwing projectiles at it you're just using a board um, ghost bird again you're using um, eggs so yeah, like, two was very, very, uh, throw, throw item at, at boss. But three, three was, three was different. Three had a lot more to it, I would say. Okay, how, oh. Like, how do I get down there? I, I just wait. I wait for the thing to rise. Um, I got all the coins. Because I had 18. Now I have 21. So that's all of them. I'm trying to think of, like, other other bosses. Like, was there anything else that was, like, really different? Nope. Oh think so. Let's see. There was beaver jump on. There was bird jump on. Uh, there was second beaver jump on. There was second bird jump on. There was an oil drum, which was arguably different. Um... There was B. There was there was B, which was hit with barrel. So that one that one was uh, different to an extent. 
Um, what else did you have? Man, it's been so long since I played Donkey Kong Country. I don't even like King K. Rule was a jump on. Because in two, King K. Rule was throw barrel at. With bo both of the K. Rule bosses. Yeah, very, very much. Samey, very samey bosses. Three was different. Three really did vary it up. I don't know where I should. Fredja. I wanted to go in that pipe, but I was trying like not to get hit. But I got hit anyway. So I got a a coin. I got two a coin. And a midway. Now the question is, where's the third a coin? Maybe up here. With the dolphins. Hello, my cetacean friends. How are you doing? Like, just watch. One of these times, I'm going to have to, like... I'm supposed to go under a dock or something. Frick! No! My cetacean buddy, why? Why were you trying to let me down like that? There we go. There we go. This is a very interesting auto-scroll. I don't think, you know... This, this auto-scroll... Because it's going a little bit faster than your standard auto scrolls. And it wasn't super long. That one didn't actually feel that bad. That one did not feel that bad. I do get something. I was I was a little curious. I'm like, do I am I actually going to get something by bringing the shell with me? The answer is yes. Well, let's go. Frick. I uh, got hit by a fishy fish. That's fine. It's fine. Let's get rid of Chuck Man. Chuck Man Jones. And his brother, Jones Man Chuck. Very creative family, if you, uh, get to know him. Okay. Somewhere. Somewhere in this area, there's going to be an A-coin. Ooh. I got me a P-switch. Don't know exactly where I need to use this. But I have it. Well, I think I figured it out. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, there's an A-coin. And then if I go here, I can get all sorts of coins before the thing happens. There we go. Perfect. And I got them all. Now I just need to go to the boss. So, I am thinking it's probably going to be like, ooh, ooh, what is, what is this? What is going on? This is a, a boss? Um, oh, it's Claw Grip. Hello, Claw Grip. You know... As much as a lot of the custom bosses are kind of jank and kind of just not not great, Claw Grip is by far one of my favorite um, custom bosses. He's one of my favorite bosses in uh, Mario Bros. USA 2 
to be fair. I just, I like Claw Grip. I like Claw Grip. Yeah, Triclide isn't, isn't bad. It's not a bad boss. It's just not a great boss. Mauser. Uh, Mauser's okay. I mean, it's nothing too exciting. I don't know, something about Claw Grip. I just, I kind of like the design and the idea behind Claw Grip. It's not hard, obviously. But very, very interesting. What I was going to say is I think every world is going to end with a second boss. Because I have the first boss, and then I have special... special castle. So I saw a A-coin. Hmm. Up or down, up or down, up or down. Hmm. I think I was supposed to go up. Frick. I think up was for the A-coin. I kind of knew it. I kind of knew that was going to be the case. But... Oh! Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That one... That one was less obvious. Ha <laughs> Look what I found. Okay. So that was an A coin. So I missed one. I kind of know where I missed it. So that's not really. I mean, it's a little frustrating because I know exactly what I did to miss it. But it's not. It's not too bad because it's right at... I missed the first one. I missed... Frick. I missed the one at the beginning. Okay. Uh... Okay, DDD. I... Can't say... I really remember the DDD bottle battle. Oh, frick. Okay, no... I, I kind of do. I kind of remember how jank it is. You have to hit him when he falls. When he falls down, when he's hort, you have to, like, go over and, like, stomp on him. I wish I could just fireball him. Yeah, it's like, like that. So you have to get him. You know what? This, I might've, I might've gotten him. No, okay, never mind. Okay, so I can get him when he jumpy jumps. Frick! I thought he was going to fall in the middle. There we go. I missed. I missed! Missed on a jumpy jump. Ah, frick. You know what? That's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. Oh, man. Oh, custom bosses. You know, some of them aren't, some of them aren't bad, but it's the ones that you don't really remember how to deal with, and they're not super clear on how to deal with them. Those are the frustrating ones. So, like... What is this? 
um, oh, <laughs> like, curious. Ooh, what did I find? I found a little bonus room. Don't know what it does except for give me coins, but that's fine. Yeah. Like, you know, custom, custom sprites and all, custom bosses and all. They're not bad. They can add a charm to your, to your hack. But like I said, if you don't really, if you can't really tell exactly how you're supposed to fight them, like that's just the frustrating part. But that's well do done. A lot faster than World 1. I don't know why, but it was. 